The doll in this video is not a toy. It is a fragile and or expensive art piece or collectible intended for adult collectors. Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Clanthiel Tan and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at a 16 count miniature ornament set from Target and a 25 count miniature ornament set from Ikea. I do want to mention before we get started that there is a slight size difference. These are bigger than these, but they definitely look like they're in the same range of what could be put on the same tree. Both sets are marked as breakable. I'm not sure what they're made out of. I think these are glass. They definitely feel heavier, but then again, there are more of them. I don't know what these are made of. It doesn't say anywhere on it. But this set cost $3 and this set cost $10. So you are getting more with this set because this only has 16 and that one has 25. So nine more ornaments. But let's take a look at both of them and see what the differences are. I'm aware that it's not like an exact one-to-one -one comparison. I'm not sure if they're even made of the same material and these are smaller but I just thought they were similar enough that a comparison could be useful. I'm really excited to see other stores branching out into mini ornaments because at least if I'm remembering correctly, back when I was first getting into dolls, I only saw miniature ornaments at Hobby Lobby and when I found out some of the stuff Hobby Lobby was getting up to and decided to not shop there anymore, I assumed part of that was gonna be not being able to get any more mini ornaments. But then the next year, Walmart had some mini ornaments and Target is getting mini ornaments and now even Ikea, which Ikea might've had these previously as well, I'm not sure. If anyone has shopped at Ikea for mini ornaments before this year, 2021, please leave a comment below and let us know what year it was and like what kind of mini ornaments they were. Did they look like these? Were they this color? There might be other ornaments in other colors from Ikea, but in the store I went to, they only had these and Ikea isn't selling any of their winter items online, at least in my region. So with the Ikea ones, it looks like we have four designs, if you will. They're all the same shape. I will say I am very impressed with the way this looks. Everything is very neat and tidy. It feels pretty sturdy. So we have this really shiny, like reflective one. And then this like matte, almost satiny one. This one is see-through. You can see the little prongs that hold it together. And then this one is shiny, but like, I'm not sure how to describe it. Reminds me of like a shiny lip gloss. So those are the kinds that come with this set. And then over here with the Target set, we have this like just glitter. Some of the glitter is on the outside of the bauble. This one's with silver glitter. This one is with like white glitter. It does feel like these are made of glass as I'm handling them, but I could be wrong. This one's just plain white. This might be my favorite out of this set. It's like got a frosty design on it. I'm not sure how they did it, but it looks really nice. There's also this just plain like reflective mirrored set. So this set comes with one more variety in it than the other one. And now I wanna hold up two of these next to each other. I will say it was hard to tell when they were still in the boxes, but handling them, there is a very obvious quality difference. This feels like the quality of something that I would expect to like walk into a miniature shop and buy like miniature Christmas ornaments. And these 
do feel a little on the cheaper side, but they're very nice. And if you're looking for a budget option for miniature ornaments, these are nothing to sneeze at. I do believe Target had several colors too. So if you don't want the red, Target might be a better way to go. I do have a one third scale doll here who can help demonstrate the size. So you can see like it's definitely within the size range. These would work really nice if you're into American Girl and want to do a set for American Girl, like a tree setup or something. And this is definitely within the size range too. I personally, in my opinion, I think that these would still work for one quarter scale as long as you didn't use too many of them on the tree because many people will do various sizes of baubles on their tree and as long as this is like the largest size, I think it would still work. But if you're doing something for one quarter scale, I would err on the side of the Ikea ones. So I am very impressed with both sets, especially since this set was only $3. So in summary, if you're shopping for miniature ornaments, if you're doing one third scale or American Girl, I would lean slightly more toward these, depending on how detailed your diorama is. If you're doing one quarter scale, I would definitely lean more toward these, but they're they are interchangeable. If you are used to buying like expensive props that are like perfectly on scale and stuff like that, I think the Ikea ones would be a better match for you. And if you're used to like thrifting and mixing and matching with your miniatures or you're wanting to have various sizes of dolls interacting with the diorama, the Target one would might be a little better for you. I will say I am a little disappointed with the glitter. I know like for $3, I really can't complain. But I am disappointed that the glitter, there was glitter on the outside because it was such a golden opportunity to have glitter on the inside of an item because they're literally hollow little balls. It would have been so easy to just put the glitter on the inside. So if you don't want glitter, I'm pretty sure all of the Target ones had glitter, but I could be remembering incorrectly. So if you want to avoid glitter, I would definitely go with the IQ one. So I hope this was helpful for you all. Outro Me is going to take over while I set up for the thumbnail. If you're not already familiar with my content, I typically make videos about ball jointed dolls, art dolls, and miniatures, with occasional content about vintage dolls and fashion dolls, and I usually release three videos a week, so if any of that sounds cool to you, be sure to check out some of my other videos and subscribe. If you're already familiar with my videos, don't forget about the Facebook group, it's linked below. It just helps to make sure that you hear about every upload on this channel if that's something that's important to you, and that you'll be able to comment if a video gets marked as made for kids because you'll be able to give feedback over on the Facebook group. I also have the Patreon, which is linked at the end of the video and in the description box below. And there you can support this channel financially if you would like to for as little as $2 a month in exchange for seeing all of my YouTube videos one to two weeks early. And I also give away one doll every single month on the Patreon and only patrons have access to that. So be sure to check that out and see if that's something you want to be a part of. All tiers on Patreon are able to participate in that monthly giveaway. Those who support me on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon, in addition to what I already mentioned, also get a print of one of my dolls sent to them every single month, and a shout out in every single YouTube video I make. So shout out to Road to Eric Fan and my anonymous Fairy Godparents. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!